find anybody that had noticed this or brought this up, but I just done watched a documentary portion. You can look it up on YouTube about the rings of Saturn, the BBC's amazing documentary with this guy that's just so happy and confident in all this amazing knowledge he has. He goes to Iceland and he says, Iceland is the closest thing that we can get to Saturn's rings. It's a billion kilometers away, but it's just like it would be. That's why they're so bright, because it's millions of ice crystals. Some of them microscopic, and some of them are grand as this iceberg I sit upon at this very moment. That's not verbatim, but <laughs> he is just out there. Uh, Um, I'm gonna put a link to that little video for y'all, but What in Keeps those rings around Saturn He doesn't mention that and no one tries to explain that if there's gravity if we're gonna assume There's gravity and that the earth's a ball and that all these other planets are balls and they're pulling everything in it What's causing this perfect ring pattern to form around Saturn? And why aren't those ice crystals being pulled back to the center of gravity? What's going on with that? You ever think about that? It's, it's perplexing to me. If, if these ice crystals of water fly off of the planet Saturn at some point. Why aren't the water molecules of Earth flying off all the time into space? And you'll say, oh, the atmosphere holds it in. I don't see water being like flying off the ocean and collecting on the outside of the atmosphere. Maybe it is though, huh? Maybe that's why the sky is blue because all that water is stuck to the top and the centripetal force pushing everything out and gravity counteracting and pushing it back in. Can you really buy that? But the arrogance of this guy on the VVC and all these guys, they just know this stuff. Like, oh my God, it's so amazing. We, we're so smart. We're so smart. Fantastic. Ice crystals. Let's all go to Iceland so we can see what Saturn's rings are like. Because that makes sense. And I heard they film Mars from Iceland in Arizona. And the moon from Arizona. We got the crater. We got everything. So, yeah. Before you go believing in all that bullocks, take a look around you. There are alternative explanations that make a whole lot more sense. Peace, y'all.